Hey guys, what's up? Producer engineer Alex Scott here with Concertdini.com coming at you with another super cool gear review. This is the Igniter Tweaker 20. It is an incredibly versatile all tube guitar head that is really ideally suited for either home practice, small gigs, or in my personal circumstance, uh, living at home in a recording studio. Um, it's really ideally suited for these because of its versatility and how many different basic amp tones you can get out of this box. Now, I have the head here. It does also come accompanied by a 112 cab, which we have uh, isolated in, in one of my ISO rooms um, off camera. So any uh, recordings that you hear here in a little bit will be played through that 112 cab. Um, but uh, it, it does come either as a standalone head or you can buy the cab included as kind of a combo setup. Um, so the reason that I settled on the Ignator Tweaker and, you know, not a Marshall or a Fender or one of the other kind of uh, typical guitar amps that you might see is because of the level of versatility uh, that is present in this head that they designed into this, into this head. So it actually internally has a number of different kind of circuit paths that can be configured to sound like some of the most common and famous amp uh, combinations or amp heads uh, in in all of guitar history. So uh, obviously we have play and, and standby, you know, kind of typical tube amp stuff, but then we have this vintage or modern switch, which changes the voicings of the first gain stage um, to kind of, you know, um, either push it more towards a vintage sound or a modern sound. I'm not sure exactly technically how this is done with the circuitry, but it sounds right to my ears. And we have a basic three band EQ, but we also have this USA, AC, or Brit switch. And that's kind of code speak for Fender, Vox, or Marshall. Um, putting it into Marshall mode, bumps up the gain a little bit, gives it that real gritty, um, real forward sound that Marshall amps are known for. AC gives it that smooth, creamy fuzz that Voxes are known for. And then USA is kind of the cleaner one and gives you some really great, very Fenderish tones. And finally, over here, we have hot or clean gain. And this changes the initial preamp stage, the first stage uh, of the gain, um, to either be boosted a little bit so you can make the, the head break up a little bit easier with hot, or if you're going for a cleaner tone, you can set it to clean. Then we also have these two switches over here that change the voicing of the circuit. We have bright and normal. Bright obviously is going to accentuate your top end. And then we have tight and deep. And that's going to mess with your bass frequencies a little bit. So the idea behind this amp is that between all these switches and all of these knobs, which there actually really aren't that very many of them, you can recreate or dial in a massively wide variety of different uh, amp voicings. Um, so, well, you know, for me, because I work in a recording studio and I do a lot of kind of project recording work, um, sometimes I might have a guitar player in who's working on three or four different records in a single day. And we don't necessarily have the time or the space or the mic locker or anything to have him bring in, you know, three or four different amplifiers for three or four different projects. Maybe we're doing a Zeppelin-ish classic rock thing and then like a modern warship song and then like a blues tune. Well, instead of having to bring in, you know, like a Tweed and a Marshall stack and then some modern clean boutique thing, I can pretty much come over here and say, okay, what are we doing, blues? Well, we'll go clean, uh, we'll go normal, we'll go deep bass, and we'll set it on USA and vintage. And then mess with the settings from there and get an amazing kind of clean, very Fender-ish, old school, like a Tweed or a... Um, a deluxe or something like that. Um, and then maybe next we're playing on a metal record. Boom. Hot gain. Set it to Brit mode uh, to get that Marshall stack kind of sound. Modern. Crank the gain. And, uh, and boom. You've got a really incredible, like, pushed Marshall kind of a sound. So it's an incredibly versatile amp. It can do a ton. And uh, because of that, it is my the one amp that I own and the one amp that I have in the studio. And it has never let me down. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera a little bit, uh, grab my guitar, and run through a few of the different tones that you can get with this amp. And uh, yeah, you guys can give it a listen. <laughs> Okay, guys, so here we have our Ignator Tweaker 20 head. Um, as I was just saying, you know, 
tons and tons and tons and tons of options here. Uh, but they're all really simple. It's all really, really easily laid out. So I just wanted to, to go ahead and run through and uh, show you guys a couple of the tones that it can get. Right now I just got it on a pretty simple, kind of clean Fender sound, something that you might hear from like a hot rod. Um, and by the way, I'm using a, a, a Strat on this, and we're in fourth position, so uh, between the middle and bridge pickups, pretty standard sound as far as I'm concerned. Tone control's wide open, and uh, we're recording through, uh, like I said, the uh, Ignator Tweaker 112 cabinet, um, which we have mic'd up with a Shure SM57, running into a pretty basic preamp. So there's really, you know, there's no compression, there's no verb or anything being added. <laughs> So again, this is like your just kind of a basic, clean, Fender-ish. Basic sound there. Um, switch it over to Vox. It's a little bit throatier. And then Marshall, or Brit mode, quote-unquote, you can hear, immediately has more gain. And that kind of pushed sound that Marshalls are, are so known for. Okay, and we've got the voicing switch in vintage right now. Bring it over to modern USA. It's a little bit brighter, it's a little bit more detailed. And definitely even a little bit kind of cleaner and richer, more of a boutique sound. There's the Vox voicing, and then again, the Marshall voicing going to add just a little bit more gain. So I find myself using this modern voicing for, you know, real clean modern stuff. Country. Uh, or, you know, kind of modern rock type stuff. Um, works really great for that. It's a bit more detailed and just kind of feels a little bit more boutique. So that's our vintage and modern. The other big tonal difference you're going to hear here is the hot and clean gain. We'll bring our master a little bit and drive our gain some more. Push the... So immediately right off the bat, that's in Brit, even on the Fender kind of USA. Instantly, you've got a ton more gain at your disposal, all the way up to, you know. Real dirty. That's Fender setting. Here's like a Marshall on the highest gain. some real real high gain out of this thing and that's you know that's more the the when you're on that hot gain setting the uh the brit is more of a vintage vibe usa especially when we have it in the modern voicing that's more your kind of orange or mesa boogie type sound fox is more of a kind of boutique british thing and then vintage again just gives you a whole different rolls off the top a little bit Vintage Marshall sounds great. Kind of that ACDC vibe. Um, that vintage switch does a lot. Now, going back to a bit cleaner of a tone. Bring that back up. You can really hear what these last two switches do. We've got bright and normal. So that's, we've been on normal. Now we kick it into bright. And here it really brings out the top end in a real nice way. Again, great for country. Especially if we put our strat in bridge position. 
Real nice and twangy. Back to normal there, we also have tight and deep. That's with the deep engage, so you get just a little bit more low mid presence out of it. And that's if you're going for the ultimate in real clean modern tones, USA, pretty even EQ, clean gain at about noon, master about noon, modern voicing and the bright and deep engaged. Just an incredibly gorgeous, clean. Really, really nice, gorgeous, clean game. So there you go. That is the Ignator Tweaker 20 head through the Ignator Tweaker 112 cabinet. Again, versatility is the key word with this amp. You know, it can just it can do so much with taking up relatively little real estate uh, in your studio and also without having too many fiddly controls. You know, they really for as much as you can do, they've pared the controls down to where it is it's totally self-explanatory. Any guitar player or engineer or anybody for that matter can look at this, look at each switch and each knob and know exactly what they need to do to get the tone that they're after. You want a Marshall tone? Well, Brit and Hot Gain and Vintage is a great place to start. You want a, a Fender tone, you know, a modern Fender, USA, modern, you know, clean gain, depending on what you want. It's, it's just so easy to dial things in so quickly, and it sounds absolutely fabulous. So if you're in the market for a portable, lower-powered recording or practice amp that gives you a massive variety of tones right out of the box, uh, I would say look no further than the Tweaker 20. So what do you guys think of Egnator amps? Do you use one? Have you used one? Do you own the Tweaker? Do you own any of the larger or kind of, of you know, nicer, more expensive Egnator amps? Um, whatever your thoughts may be, we would love to hear them in the comments down below. Uh, again, my name is Alex Scott with Concertini.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. We do really appreciate it, and we will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.